Hey guys, it's Elena at Red Strand Salon and today I'm going to be showing you a Halloween look using makeup. So today I am going to be doing a cute, fun, sparkly jack-o'-lantern look and I'm going to get started. So I've already prepped my face with foundation and I've done my brows already, so I'm just gonna go straight into shading my face with a orange eyeshadow. And I'm lucky enough to have this fun James Charles palette that has these big eyeshadows. And the nice thing about makeup and eyeshadow is that it is buildable. Whereas, if you're like me, and you're not so great with freehand painting, like my practice last night, makeup is a great way to kind of play around because it's a little more forgiving than trying to paint your face. So we are going to stop with the orange shading for now and kind of go right into the eyeshadow and we'll come back and do a little more detailing work with the orange in just a minute. So I am going to start off by going in and doing a smoky eye with black eyeshadow and then we are going to do a cut crease. I do advise if you have foundation on your eyelids and it kind of clumps up in the crease of your eye to buff it out real quick because otherwise you'll see that in your eyeshadow. Don't worry about it looking too crazy. It is a Halloween look. And nothing's perfect. You can always blend out a little bit with your fingertips or go in with a clean brush and just use a lighter color, which let's see, I'm going to use maybe like a yellow. That'll help blend out that black and give it a little bit of a smudgy, smoky eye. And I'm gonna continue to build up that. Look in. Go back in with that yellow to blend out. All right, so now I am gonna kind of line the underside of my eye with that same black shadow. Smoke it out, kind of give it a little bit of that winged look. All right, so now we are going to go in with the cut crease. So I like to use this brow concealer type pen, but it works great for drawing in your cut crease if you're out of concealer like me. And I like to go just barely above my crease to kind of open my eye up a little bit since I have some almond shaped eyes. I think that's going to be good. I only went about half to three quarters. We want a little bit of space for wanting some of that black back in there, but we are going to cover that cut crease with um, some red glitter. And let's see. Fun tip, if you don't have any glitter primer, you can always use just a light coat of like lip gloss. Dab it on with your finger. Not something I would probably recommend for like 
all day use, depending on what type of lip gloss you use, but definitely for a fun Halloween night, costume party. Just gonna use that same brush I used to line the underneath of my eyes to pat on this glitter. So now we're going to get back into the orange now that our eyes are pretty much done and do a little more detailing right in here. So now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of like a gold shimmer and highlight. All right, so now we are gonna go back in and do some more glitter work. This is gonna be under our eyes this time. We're just gonna kind of make like a triangle under our eyes with that lip gloss again. I made up my own little mixture of glitter at home. So I am going to use some just some normal black eyeliner pen pencil to do the outline for the nose and the pumpkin mouth. Just using a large Mayron face painting palette, but I'm just using the black. And then we're gonna go back in with the eyeliner and outline the lip area. shape drawn in. And we can go back in with either your paint, your eyeshadow, or eyeliner. Whichever you have. So, now the last thing to do to my nose. Don't let down your hair. So here is our cute, fun, glittery jack-o'-lantern look. Like and subscribe to see more videos. Happy Halloween.